All right, so sorry about the shaky point the camera at the screen camera work, but we're going to go through with this, and I'm going to tell you how to update your Behringer X32 rack. I'm going to tell you how to update the firmware on it. We're going to be updating to 2.12 on the firmware, so just to show that this is not an updated X32 rack, I'm going to fire up the rack here. And we'll let it boot up all the way. Sorry about the messy room, no comments about that. And here it is, it's come up. We're gonna go to the setup here. And if we look over here, right, come on, camera focus. We're running an old. Bring an old X32 release. That's a 2.08. So we're going to update that. Now I'm going to show you how to do some cool things to the X32 in another video to make it sound really good. But just to show that this is not an updated X32 rack, now you see this. So what we're going to do is we're going to use my handy dandy laptop here. I'm going to plug in a USB drive There it's initialized. This is a brand new USB drive and first thing I'm actually going to do is I'm going to send All the items off of this drive Then what you need to do is you need to move this DCP update file You need to move this to the flash drive You'll hear it drop in wait just a couple of minutes make sure that it is copied over um, it is about a, a six or seven megabyte file. Excuse the dogs fighting in the background there. And we're going to eject our drive. This is the one time where I usually will eject a drive. And we're going to remove the drive out of the laptop. Now, the first thing you need to do is you need to shut down the X32 rack. Hold down. USB and power the rack up. As you'll see here, it has started to initiate. It says waiting for USB device. I'm going to plug in my USB device. It's going to look for the file and it's going to check the integrity of the file on here and it's also going to update the firmware on the rack. See, it's applying the file to the firmware now you, at this point you do not want to shut off power to the to the rack pull out the USB drive or anything you can cause your device to crash and as you can see now we are firing up normally uh, it actually is reading from the USB drive and if I go back over here to set up well you can see First off, that there's a change. We're now running firmware version 2.12 in there. A few menu items have changed throughout the unit here. Um, of course, you can initialize the whole thing. And they've added a little feature called factory reset. Um, here's another cool one. Uh, system control. You can shut down, reboot, or that. If I do shut down, please wait turn off statelessly or press home to keep the unit up and running uh, it's a very cool feature with 2.12 um, scene control is also very amazing on this unit and um, well, that's about it for this edition of x32 rack lessons this was to show you how to update your firmware you can now safely pull out the USB drive in this case, I'll actually shut down the unit and show that it will boot up in the 2.12 firmware. So we're down. Kill the power to the unit. I'll start it back up. There's the X32 rack. Sorry about the camera here. I'm using a cell phone. The quality is not going to be the greatest. As you can see, we are running 2.12. 
Uh, one of the things I really like to do is I like to set my sample rate to be 48 kilohertz. In that case, you will need to reboot the X32 rack. Takes it just a second to load up. There we go. And now you can see I'm at 48 kilohertz. The other cool thing is that you can also select update firmware. So you can actually be running the console and decide, oh, I want to update the firmware. Stick in your drive and select update firmware, and it will boot up to that. Uh, just a few cool features with the newest software of the X32 rack. I uh, hope you enjoyed this little lesson. And uh, stay tuned.